Hi everyone, welcome back. Here's simultaneous equations where you have to rearrange first. The first one, I can make it x first, y second, number third equals zero. I could do lots of things. I tend to prefer, because of the way I've done the previous videos, I tend to prefer, let's go to 2x plus the 3y, move the minus 13 to the other side, and that becomes our equation one. This one here, I could go, minus 5x, move it to the other side, that becomes a minus 5x plus y equals minus 7. So the only thing that's moved there is the 5x has gone to the other side. So I can do that if I wanted to. And there's my two equations that I go, oh, I don't like the minus there. But even if it does have that there, here's a 3y and a 1y. So these two, if I multiply the numbers, would be 10. But this is just a 3, 1 to 3. So if I leave the top equation the same, but I triple the second equation, that's minus 15x, that's plus 3y, and that's minus 21. Then I've got the 3y and the 3y. And you can see the questions become more and more fiddly, but really in principle they're not that hard. So they are the same sign and the same size and then I can subtract. You go, what does that mean? Let's have a look at what the question's done. A 2x plus a 15x is a 17x. The 3y minus a 3y is gone. 13 plus 21 is 34. And I don't know how people are at their 17 times tables, but if I divide that by 17, divide that by 17, x is 2. And you can be expected to do calculations like that. Now we're going to go, I'm going to have to write it sub x equals 2 into uh, I'm going to go that one there into number 2 because it's already written in the correct form so I'm going to have y equals 5 times the 2 minus 7 so what have I got? 10 minus 7 is 3 so the answer to that one is just 2, 3 could put them back in and check it and see what happened so yes I could have moved them all to the left I could have moved everything to the left and had both of them as equal naught but I chose not to your choice what you do each time. This one, I've got the x first, that's okay. I'm going to write plus the 3y, and the minus 13, if I go plus 13 to each side, has equal 13. So I'm tending to go letter, letter, equals, and then the constant by itself. This one here, well that was good because it's already in the correct form. So I can just go, there's a 4x, there's a 5y, and there's a 24. So there's my one and there's my two. Now I could look at these two, or well, one and a four is a four, a three and a five is a 15. I'll make those two the same. So I could go over here first and say equation one times four, if you need that. So that'll be four times that, four times that, four times that. Numbers start to become a bit revolting, but not too bad. For those of you good at your mental arithmetic, it's easy. So that equation actually just stayed the same. Now I've got the 4x is the same, same sign, same size, subtract. So now I can put in my subtracts. I still do prefer a different coloured pen. 12y take 5y is 7y. 52 take 24 is 28. Again, you're back to 7 times tables, but for those who are doing this, most of them should be okay with it. 7 watts are 24, the y is 4. Back to substitution, I can talk properly. Substitute y equals 4 into, I'm going to have a look at these two and go, mm, yeah, I think I'd still prefer, I'd probably prefer that one there. Inter interesting thing is, could have done it there, could have even done it down here. Doesn't matter where, I'm going to pick that one there. So I've got x plus, I'm going to shortcut it, 3, 4 to 12 equals 13, and obviously then take 12, take 12, x is 1. And I've got my solution of 1 and 4. Be careful you don't write 4 and 1, which I think I went to do. Next one. This is so easy. If they both say y equals, I can simply make the two parts of this equal. So I've got a minus 4x plus 14 equals 2x minus 4. Really, it's substitution. A substitution is wherever I've got y written on the other equation, wherever I've got y written on the other equation, I can replace it by what that y has become. So that y is minus 14, 4x plus 14. 
and then I've just got a normal equation to solve. I am going to do this a little bit slowly. If I take 2x there, I take 2x there, and I've got minus 6x plus 14. A whole lot of people will do this much quicker, but let's do it slowly for a moment. If I'm minus 14 there, I'm minus 14 there, and I've got minus 6x equals minus 18, and there's lots of people could have seen this in their head if you wanted to. I could have just gone that 6x and moved that across there to 18. Maybe I'll do it that way in a second. So then you've got divide by minus 6, divide by minus 6. Two minuses become a plus. 18 divided by 6 is 3. And we're back to substitute. x equals 3. And I'm going to put it probably into that one there. So that's 2 times 3 minus 4. 6 take 4 is 2. And we've got our solution of 3, 2. I am going to go back to that equation. So if I rub this off here, and I don't bother with putting all these minus 2x's on, what can I do? Here's what my brain would do. I don't want that minus there, I'm going to move it to the other side. 2x plus 4x is 6x. I don't want that minus 4 there, I'm going to move it to the other side. And as people talk about swap sides, swap signs, it's really handy. So that's 18, and then you can go 6 watts or 18, you go x is 3. And you're back to substitution, you can put in the other one. So there's so many things you can choose, but yeah, give me a look at what's going on there. Hope it helps. If you're finding it helpful, please just let your friends know.